Uh, good morning and welcome to another video uh, on one of our grinders. This is a Myford HPT model and uh, as you see here we have the electrical cabinet, uh, the hydraulic unit and the coolant unit is uh, built into the rear of it. Um, this is currently wired for 440 volts, 460 volts. Uh, you have your controls on the panel here. This is to start the hydraulics. Uh, the spindle, headstock rotation, uh, different modes of grinding you might be doing. This is a manual mode. Uh, this is a uh, traverse mode or incremental at each, each reversal. Uh, this is a plunge grind straight in. And these are different various programs using a Marpos type in process gauge, which we are not equipped with. Uh, spark out timer, a selection of infeed of the wheel on the left and right or both sides and when your coolant comes on. Uh, the machine itself is uh, capable of being used manually, completely manual, or under power. There's a semi-automatic semi cycle and there's a fully automatic cycle. So let's go ahead and start this up. That's the hydraulic pump. That's the grinding wheel. Now in the, in the hand position that I have this mode set in right now, would be for doing uh, one or two pieces or setting up a job. Um, you do have this a stroke on these grinders, so you have to have that. That's a fixed amount. You, you cannot change how much that comes forward. But that will start the uh, rotation of the workhead. And then there's a potentiometer up here to, to change and increase or decrease that feed. So now that you have your wheel slide in, you can use your hand wheel to come in the rest of the way to, to touch the workpiece. Uh, you have a fine feed here that you can also use. And then when you want to check your part, it stops rotating, the head goes back, you open up and you, you, you can mic it up and then come right back to that spot again and either set a dead zero or uh, make some adjustments. So also in this mode, if I wanted to be going uh, power table, uh, I could have that also. And then you control the speed here. And you have an opportunity to, to have it dwell at, at, at one side or the other, or both sides. And then when we go back with this lever, the wheel will go back, the headstock will stop, and you need to stop the table. So that's a semi-automatic cycle. Now to go fully automatic, there's a fully automatic symbol on here and all these levers uh, need to be put into it. Uh, there's also a uh, set of pointers right here which is part of the automatic cycle uh, that you would, the operator would set for the, his stock removal and his uh, safety and also uh, where your coarse feed ends and your fine feed starts. So we did a couple of things here now. We're gonna go into one of the automatic cycles. Uh, we'll go into the straight in plunge. And in that way, uh, now there's a lever on the side of the machine over here that controls uh, a, a few different functions. In this case, it's going to start the cycle. And this is actually feeding down, but you don't see it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this table out of the equation. Uh, we'll do that over again. So this is, this is sparking out right now and going back. We'll do another cycle. So we're in the back now. When I switch the switch, our headstock comes on, our wheel head came in, and we're actually feeding in right here. Not with our hand wheel. Our hand wheel is up against the dead stop. We're feeding in with the mechanism, the, the infeed mechanism of the machine. And when it gets to that point right there, you have two different feed rates, a coarse and a fine. And now we've gotten to zero, and you've got your light on, and the time is up, and the slide goes back. That's the automatic uh, plunge grinding cycle. Now the other cycle would be to, to include the table, and then change this setting here to uh, one at each, at each reversal. But this takes quite a while, so okay, our headstock came on, our head, wheel head came forward, and at each reversal here, we're moving forward with this little pointer. I don't know if you can see that, but maybe the cameraman can 
come up there and focus down in here on this needle. In the traverse grinding mode, that needle moves forward. Obviously, we're going much faster than you would normally grind. Uh, just to show you quickly while we got the camera here, I'll stop this cycle by moving this lever back. I'll take it out of the table mode and go back into the plunge grinding mode just to show you one last thing before we wrap this up. All right, this would be a plunge grinding cycle. So we come from some This is the coarse feed which is adjustable with these knobs and the fine feed starts right at that pointer. And when we get to zero there's a switch that gets made and the spark out time sends it back. Now the amount that this retracts is adjustable at the rear of the machine so you don't have to take this much stock off. This is almost uh, 100 thousandths. And the fine feed you can set, adjust with this dial here to start at any point along the cycle that you want. And you can set your feed rates. But that's the nice thing about this machine is that you have the two feed rates and these different cycles that you can grind. So that you could work it completely manual, a semi-automatic, and then this fully automatic cycle would spark out And that's it for today, and I want to thank you all very much.